Hello everyone, I'm Karen, Education Community Officer with Essex Wildlife Trust. I hope you're really enjoying taking part in 30 Days Wild this month. Now normally I'd be sharing 30 Days Wild with all the people that come to visit me at Forest School and at Nature Tops. So this year I'm a little bit sad that I'm doing it on my own. Maybe you're missing somebody too. Perhaps uh, it's a family member you've not been able to visit for a little while. Maybe it's your friends at school, maybe even your teachers. So to keep me company this June while I'm doing my 30 days wild random acts of wildness, I thought I'd make myself a nature buddy. Like this. Uh, I had to think about the kinds of people that I'm missing, what they look like. Are they tall? Are they short? Uh, what does their hair look like? Uh, what other clothes do they like to wear? Um, and then I found lots of things in my garden and out on my wall that I could use to make it with. I've got some sticks and some leaves um, and I stuck a hair on with a little bit of sticky clay mud. So I thought I'd have a go at making my nature buddy a friend as well. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is go for a walk and see what I can find. Why don't you come and join me? So I've come to my little bit of local woodland to see what I can find for my nature buddy. Oh, I can spot some nice leaves down here on the floor. And I have some of those. I always remember to try and pick things up from the floor rather than taking anything living from the trees. And we'll leave the rest for the wildlife. So just a few of those. Um, I can use maybe for a skirt or for a jacket this time. Go. They can go in my bag. And what else do I need? I'll find some sticks. But what size do I want the sticks to be? Do I want a short, fat stick? Or maybe a long, thin stick? There's plenty of sticks to choose from, and again, I'm going to take them from the ground. I don't want to take anything that the birds might be using for their nests. All right, and they can all go in my bag. What else can I find here in the woods? It's a lovely feather. Not sure how I can use that, but I'll take it and see what I can do with that one. Right, I'm going to carry on, see what else I can find, and add it to my bag. So I've got a lovely collection of things from the woodland. I've got leaves, lots of different shapes and lots of different colours. That lovely feather that I found and sticks of all sorts of different sizes, including this one. Looks like it's a pair of legs. Um, not going to need much else, just got uh, some pens for drawing a face, some scissors and some wool and cotton to tie them all together. So let's have a go at making a new nature buddy. So the first thing I've done is I've got a short twig for the arms and a long twig for the body and then I'm going to tie them together here in the middle using a little bit of cotton. Now I've used a square lashing that we use at forest school but you don't have to tie it together in any particular way just so that it's nice and strong and the arms don't fall off and I've left a long piece of thread underneath so that I can tie the clothes and leaves on. So that's the next step. I'm going to start choosing which of my leaves I'm going to dress my nature buddy with. So this time I've chosen oak leaves for her skirt and I've just wrapped the string round and round to hold them on nice and tightly. It does help if you've got a little bit of stalk on your leaf and then it's easier to tie them on. Now, what for her top? So there she is, my finished nature buddy. I've given her a leaf for a top and some spiky grass for her hair. And then I've drawn her face on with my felt tip pens. So she's ready to join in our 30 days wild adventures with my other nature buddy. So I hope you have fun making your own nature buddies and they can join you on your 30 days wild adventures this month. Don't forget to share a picture with us of what you've made. Stay safe and stay wild.